News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants. Calls for justice are growing for a Valley woman convicted of murdering her two-year-old daughter. Melissa Lucio is said to be executed in about two and a half months, but a group is now advocating for her to get off death row and continue fighting for her innocence. Another rally will be taking place today at 10 a.m. outside the DA's office right next to the Cameron County Judicial Courthouse. We're tracking a deadly rollover crash in Edinburgh. It happened just after 9 p.m. last night around the 4900 block of Expressway 281. According to police, the driver of a blue Ford Mustang crashed into a black Dodge Ram pickup truck as the driver was changing lanes. The Mustang then rolled over. The driver of the Mustang was pronounced dead at the scene. His name has not been released as police work to notify the family. As for the driver of the truck, he was taken to Edinburgh Regional Hospital with non life threatening injuries. FEMA's COVID testing sites in the Valley are set to pack things up this week. Today is the last day for the site in Edinburgh and the site in Brownsville will be open until tomorrow. Both locations will be open from 8 a.m. until 6 p.m. If you would like to get tested, we have the link to both of the registration sites up on our website. That's KRGV.com. Turning now to weather, expect a wet start this morning, but this afternoon will start to dry out. Temperatures will be in the upper 50s. That's your news in 60. Have a great day. News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants.